Be ready. Hello everyone, it's Cassie from Gone Grooming and today I have Sophie the Bichon. Keep watching. Hello everyone, so it's Cassie and yes, COVID is still going on, but they're allowing us groomers to still work as long as we do social distancing and Michelle is dropping right now. They're allowing us to do locker lobbies, no one can come in. They're doing drop offs and pickups and holy crap, we are super busy. So this here is Sophie, she's a Bichon. I love, love, love her hair and we're gonna make this nice and round. We're gonna take her body a little bit shorter. She does have a cherry eye. And that cherry eye, you can get surgically removed. You can take your finger and rub it on their eye every day. The one thing is with cherry eyes is it probably will never go away. I've had a lot of clients come in and get the surgery done two, three times and then they'll still look at me and go, what am I doing wrong? You're not, it's just, it just happens in dogs. And then you just have to be careful when you're washing and drying them that you don't get any extra hair or shampoo and infection that can start. On her forehead is a little bit shorter because in quarantine, a lot of clients need to do some home grooming and I don't blame them because we weren't allowed to touch the dogs. We weren't allowed to work. We weren't allowed to do any house calls. So we're gonna try our best to blend that with her head. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm just gonna use a zero on her. It depends on the dog. Sometimes they'll take them short, sometimes they'll take them long. Really just depends on what the owner wants. I just can't get over her freaking feet and little boots. I love Look them. Look at them. You got the Uggs. I know, I love little Ugg boots. Mm. She got built in Uggs. I love it. She got, you hear that? You got built in yeah, Uggs. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna take her body down, uh, including her chest, and then with her leg here and her leg back here, we're gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna fade this out and make her make more boots. Her back leg here, I want to make this fluffy. So I mean, you don't have to do it. This is just the way that I'm doing it, and I'm just gonna blend in the the body with her leg, and it's still gonna be fluffy, but you can see that it just blends easily with the body. You can use chunkers, you can use a different blade, a 30, a 10. I like to do Bichon head and faces at the very, very end and get everything done first so that we can concentrate just here. So this here is a preference. I choose to use a scissor. You can use whatever way that you want and the way i tell people is you do whatever you have to do to make the cut we're just gonna blend this all together see how it has like a little divot there it's because she's chewing right here and right here what i like to do is lift up her paw and i like to put it on my arm and this gives her a balance as well as for me I'm just gonna lightly trim it because I know I'm gonna go back. Shh, you're okay, baby girl. Such a sweetheart. I'm gonna go back again with the uh, thinning shears or the chunkers, sorry. I'm gonna go back with the chunkers. In just a minute, you're good. Oh. Look at that foot on the bottom. Look at that perfect little boot. Almost, she's oh, getting there. What? We're gonna leave a lot of that divot so that that can grow a little bit. Now this is not all dogs, this is just her. And then I wanna grow this out right, this portion right here so that it comes out like a column. But that's not today, we can't do that today because it still has to grow. So we've already used the slicker on her face and her head. So I'm just using a comb going back and forth on her hair. I'm also feeling for any knots because once you start cutting Bichon fur or start trimming it down and you get a little knot and then you brush it again, you gotta recut it again. So it's just, 
You might as well just brush it completely out. You can use a slicker, a comb, back and forth, whatever you want to do. So our goal is completely round head, very short ears, but we're hiding her ears in her head. This is where her, her chin is. And we're also just gonna blend it with her body so that her ear still disappears. And I will cut this down a lot more. I'm just showing you an example. This is not like the full haircut. Mm -hmm. This down here, close your tongue. This down here, I'm gonna cut this a tiny bit shorter so that it appears rounder. So we're gonna close her mouth for just a second. I know, we're gonna do this lip hair. This lip hair, you're not gonna see it on the outside anyway, but I wanna keep her mouth shut so that we don't go snip, snip with the tongue. Portion right here, this is mommy's doing. So that's okay if, if she's watching, don't worry. Now you see how I just did all that scissoring? Now I just brushed out her head and it looks like we didn't do anything. So we're just gonna go back and redo it. And blend in. You can use chunkers, thinning shears if you would like. I have to rebrush out her ear so that we can get the full. So with this hair back here, this is gonna help hide her ear with time to come. See how it's now it's fluffy? So we're just there gonna go. Yeah. So that's hiding. See how it's hiding? But you still have to sit there and rebrush their hair. So you can use a comb, and you can use a uh, slicker if you want to. Anything that's gonna have you do the cut. So we're gonna, we're gonna get back to this portion in, in a little bit. I wanna work on half of her face first. Wanna get this blending because she needed some hair out of her face. With the quarantine, a lot of parents are really desperate and I don't blame mom for um, you know, doing any of this because we weren't allowed to touch the dogs. We weren't allowed to work. We weren't allowed to do any house calls. So I don't blame her. So we're just gonna blend this as best as we can. I'm gonna take my chunkers and we're just gonna blend and I'm gonna brush and then we're gonna blend. And I'm gonna take her out a little bit shorter but I wanna blend this first to make sure that we're blending enough. That's really thick. You have really thick hair right now. So I do know now that I can take more because it blended. And right now I'm just doing half of her head. And then when she does come in the next time, then we will do that little Bichon poof here. But that was just for mom doing it at home. Temporary fix. It's just a temporary fix so that her dog can say, and the quarantine makes us do some weird stuff. So that's all right. And if you're a groomer or you are practicing to be a groomer or you have no idea about grooming, um, everything that I have is gonna be in the description below. And just know that there are different ways and maneuvers of how to do everything. Nothing, bless you, nothing. If you are just a groomer, not a uh, competition groomer, that would be a different story. Competition groomers, there are rules and regulations and how to's and everything. If you're just a groomer and you're doing this at a shop, it is, according to my company, it is all up to the owner. Um, if the owners want to follow by the book rules, that's fine. But they don't have to because this is their dog, this is their family, and this is their choice. And you're starting to look like a Bichon. Look at that, because I want to blend the ear with the head. Oh, you have wonderful Bichon hair. So I'm just blending everything together. And then we'll go back on the other side. 
Okay. And then right here, you want to keep that longer, this portion here, because the ear, yeah. you see, oh, bless you. So. Oh, yeah. Let's do, where are you going? You can't go anywhere. We gotta finish. Never give a groomer a pair of scissors and say, hey, you're done. Can we find something? Yes, you will. Look at this tail. Oh, her tail is so gorgeous. So her tail, it reminds me of uh, when you get married. Either the veil or the, or the, train. the train. train. I'm just gonna check to see if there's any ends. And we're just gonna, just a little. Mom doesn't want anything off the tail, but we wanna make sure that it's still even. Yeah, that's all right. All right. We'll do her uh, final hurrah. Did you do a good job? Ah, I like you, Sophie. So this is my little fluff boss, Sophie. I think she did a wonderful job today. I love how round Bijans get their face. It's it's just like Spaceballs helmet. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. You ready? Sophie, this way. Sophie, come on. Come on, silly. Oh. Did you, you clip the nails? I did. Oh, great. File them down? Okay, great. Yep. Wonderful. Her head and her neck are at a perfect spot yeah, for nice and round now. Yes. So today we finally were able to do her video. Oh god. So we got everything. So is she gonna be on, on the, it'll be this week. All right. Thank you. Bye. Stay safe.